Marvel Rivals has just released the gameplay footage of Psylocke, the new hero. Holy shit, am I excited. Oh my god, am I excited. I can't wait to watch this, because as you guys know, I'm a Black Panther player, slash Spider-Man player, and any character that I've been playing so far has some similarities to Genji from Overwatch. And this character from the things that we've already seen has the most similarities to Genji. So I'm really excited what the actual gameplay footage is gonna be. So let's jump straight into it. We recently had an exclusive trial of Psylocke, the new hero of Marvel Rivals. Her agile movements and powerful attack power left a deep impression on me. She's a very threatening output character oh as a background. Oh my god. Next, please watch our recorded skill demonstration and actual combat video. I can already see her being one of my favorites. Psylocke is a Abilities dualist and class in the game, a formidable assassin type, damage dealer, adapt a close quarter nice. combat where her shotgun close like quarter, very are nice. most effective. The closer she is to her opponents, especially those fragile back row heroes, the greater uh -huh. the damage she inflicts. This design clearly encourages players to close the distance when using her. Additionally, yeah. her normal attacks reduce ability cooldown times, adding a layer of challenge for players to master her aiming and timing. Wait, Psylocke, wait, what? Wait, what? What did you say? Her normal attacks reduce ability cooldown time. Her normal attacks reduce ability cooldown time. A layer of challenge really? for players to master cooldown times, adding a layer of. Additionally, wait, can I, can her I watch normal attacks again? reduce ability cooldown Oh yeah, I see it. Do you, do you guys see how much? Wow, wait. Normal attacks reduce ability cooldown times. Oh my god! Wait, that's so fast. Players to master her aiming and timing. Psylocke's abilities are crafted to complement her role. Psyblade Dash, a straightforward and aggressive spring attack that deals damage to enemies in her path. This ability Dash, also lovable. retracts her right click, Already shirt, love it, creating bro. a potent burst of damage in a short span. Psychic Wait, the, the cooldown, the cooldown ability reduction is actually so good though. It's so good. I can okay. So she doesn't even need it. As she said, when I first the when I first saw the leaked like gameplay on Twitter, I was like, oh wait, she doesn't have a dash reset. Oh, that's gonna be ass then, because she she won't be able to chain kills. But now that I think about it, when she gets a reduced ability cooldown just by shooting people, it's basically a dash reset, right? But she doesn't need to get a kill. She just needs to shoot people. Wait, that's so fucking smart, actually. That is genuinely such a smart idea. Dude, imagine if Genji had that. Bro, oh my god, this te this developer team is actually cooking. This developer team is genuinely cooking, bro. In Psylocke, invisibility for a few seconds, along with increased movement speed. This is invaluable for either okay, wait, how, how long is the invis? fire or sneaking up on how the long is the invis? back I row see. unnoticed. Oh, what? Four seconds? It's only four seconds? Oh my god, it, they made invisibility not broken. When activated, Psylocke throws several psychic shuriken that damage enemies and provide temporary health based on the number of shuriken that hit. Right clicking again recalls the shuriken, causing additional damage. Skilled players can maneuver this shuriken through Wait, what? causing An additional <laughs> on the number Sorry. of shuriken that hit. Right clicking again recalls provide temporary health based on the number of shuriken that hit. Right clicking again recalls the shuriken, causing additional damage. Skilled players can maneuver this shuriken through uh. multiple enemies, though the temporary health boost can only be applied once per throw. Okay, so like, okay, so if she right clicks, she gets a health increase. Yeah, I saw that just now. It's like 50, 50 HP ha increased health. Upon activation, but it's only Psylocke creates a white killing zone centered around her. She automatically targets and launches powerful slashes at random enemies within the zone. If only one enemy is oh present, my God. they suffer multiple That's attacks. That's so big! Do you guys see the within... range of it? That's insanely big. But to be fair though, zone, I just saw that. She, it does, it does take quite some hits to kill somebody. Within the zone. If only one enemy is present, one, they two, suffer multiple attacks. Two hits? Multiple I think she got damage was here, right? No, she didn't. Ooh. Enemies are within the zone. In the in the leaked trailer, I saw Luna getting attacked by her ultimate and she had to 
Um, and she had to use three slashes to kill Luna. And Luna has 250 HP. So I imagined it to be way less. But that that um, Jeff just got instantly one-shotted. I actually two shot it, sorry. The damage is distributed among them. Mm. While the we have to experiment active, when the game comes out. 100%. Who Psylocke targets, but can adjust the center of the killing zone. This forces opponents to use all their movement abilities to escape quickly. Yeah, it's a zoning mode, 100% too. If they got like, if they get like an insane advantage with ultimates, and uh, they're gonna like rush you guys right now. You can literally just ult because she just. I think she just said that uh, you're invincible, right? Yeah, I, I think you're invincible in all of this. And then you can just force people out. You can force them to uh, go back, and your team can actually regroup faster that way. And we get an advantage. To maximize Psylocke's potential, players must tactically position her close to enemy back rows. Her normal attacks and ultimate are most effective for close range, rewarding players who can adapt. Oh my god, dude, do you see how that Hulk is getting shredded? I don't even think I need to dash in, I can just kill him on mid range. <laughs> In combat, Psylocke necessitates strategic coordination of her sprint and stealth ability to effectively navigate complex terrain and swiftly close in on the opponent's vulnerable back row heroes. Alternatively, she can utilize the high burst damage of her left and right click abilities, along with the cooldown reduction feature of her left click to quickly diminish the health of the front row. A useful trick Oh, her left click is the cooldown reduction. I thought it was the right click. Wait, so she continuously can reduce her cooldowns. Wow. Wait, that is so good. The camera then. to achieve a double jump <laughs> effect, allowing Psylocke to reach higher areas of the map. Furthermore, combining her sprint attack with normal attacks can help secure the final Oh, so she doesn't have a wall climb. While simultaneously moving okay. Psylocke out of I, I guess you had to nerf her in some way. Avoiding focused attacks. Mastering this maneuver is crucial for maximizing Psylocke's effectiveness. When Psylocke's energy is fully charged, using her ultimate move requires careful consideration. Factors such as relative distance to the enemy, player positioning, and the decision to either deal through damage to finish Dude. off low health enemies. <laughs> New or players will have so much trouble to figure out figuring out how to play fire, Psylocke. Or test the player's judgment. She's saying so much stuff like in the in the voiceover, she's saying so much stuff. A lot of people are going to be so confused about this, but in reality, you just got to play her a bit and then you can understand what uh, what her abilities do and how she can be played. Overall, Psylocke demands precise shooting accuracy, in-depth familiarity with the map, and impeccable timing in using her sprint ability. Players must approach her as a ninja rather than a warrior to fully understand her position and role in battle effectively. IGN First will release more new information about Marvel Rivals in November, so stay True, tuned. True, I can't wait. I actually can't wait. Oh my god, wait, 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 did you just cut through a fucking Luna ult? No way. Oh my god, wait, she does damage for Luna ult! Oh my god! What? What? That's <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? That's the first time I see that. Uh, wait, okay, either, either Luna got nerfed, Luna got nerfed to the ground, or Psylocke's damage is insane. Because there's very little in the game that can actually damage Luna inside of her ult. It's genuinely like a trance. Uh, like a very, very strong trance uh, from Zenyatta. But uh, Jesus Christ, that, that, was, that was a lot. Um, yeah, to go back to her abilities, dude, her, I, I'm in love with this character. I'm genuinely in love with this character. This character fixes all the problems that Genji and even Sombra had to some potential. Because that, that's basically what most people will um, compare her to, um, to Genji and Sombra. Only Sombra because of the invisibility, but mostly Genji, I think. The dash reset, how they made it, I think is actually even better. It's a net buff. Like, because 
the problem with Genji was always that for him to get another dash, to get out of the situation that he's currently in, out of the risky situation where he can maybe even get a one-shotted, is to either deflect and uh, that way get out, or wall climb, or get a dash reset. But you only get a dash reset by killing somebody. But this problem has been completely solved just by Psylocke shooting others. If she just keeps on hitting somebody, her cooldowns will get decreased like crazy. Like, that is an insane idea, actually. I would have never thought about that. Not at all. But I really like that. Because it doesn't only encourage her or, like, make her able to get out. She can even get in more. Because if she manages to get a, like, a close to one shot, she finishes off the target, she gets another dash, another invisibility look, another right click. Bro, oh my god, I, I love this. Or even better, you just, like, you, you go in, you try to finish him off, you cannot finish him off, right? What do you do? You turn around, shoot the tank a couple times, you have the dash back, and then you finish off the kill. Because they will not have abilities. Dude, there's so I I'm already theorizing so much stuff in my head. What you can do with this character? It's actually insane. I love this. What was that? Oh, that was her ult. Okay, that's that's how her ult looks. I thought that was some ability. Me one that she didn't talk about. But yeah, that that's really fucking cool. I, I love her. I love her already. I'm definitely maining her. I'm definitely playing her. I'm gonna shred entire lobbies with her. With her, hundred <laughs> percent. Um, yeah, cool. I think that was it. She explained pretty much every ability. We didn't get a new map teaser or something. For example, the new Black Panther map. We still have not heard any news about that. But November is still young. We still got twenty five more days. Actually. Till November, uh, till December sixth, we got um, f uh, math thirty one days, <laughs> thirty one days actually, to uh, see the new updates, new trailers, and uh, new stuff. So yeah, I can't wait. And I'm also gonna do more videos on Marvel Riots. I'm gonna the news that are really interesting to me. I will do YouTube videos on like this one. Um, but if there's something else really game breaking i will also cover that so yeah i hope you guys like this uh, little uh, reaction of the psylocke gameplay trailer um yeah comment your opinions down below of the character and uh see you guys soon